Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. It's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful lake, preaching his word in truth and sincerity, the men, women, and children that believe. I'm the brother Tazabana, Great Millstone, the elders on the camp, Lord Will, with another video at Edify. You can see the title on the screen Grasshoppers Finish Off. North Dakota crops, pastures already plagued by drought. A farmer say it says, it says, uh, heat and drought aren't the only issues farmers in the drought stricken north, north and west are dealing with grasshoppers. Also, grasshoppers are also destroying pastures, uh, past, pasture, grass, and crops, right? And a grasshopper is nothing more than a smaller locust, right? Jo, uh, it says Jody Kurzman of AG Day uh, affiliate K KFYR in North Dakota spoke to Rahim, Raham, North Car North Dakota producer Trevor uh, Trevor Steak, who has been cr uh, chronic chronicling the drought and now the grasshoppers' damage. It says in in my 25 years of farming and ranching, I've never seen anything like this, uh, says Steak. It says they're eating it down to nothing. You can see my 300 acres of barley. All you can see is they've eaten it to the ground and there's nothing left. <laughs> man. You know, the, man, I got to get this, man. Uh. This is a uh, second as just um, 15 and 11. It says, behold, it says, but I will, sm but, but I will, it says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with a plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. And this is exactly what that punishment and plague was part of in Egypt. The locust, right? It says, um, in a normal year, Steak would, would get 1,500 to 3,000 bales on a 1,000 acre field. This year, he got 53. Man, man, this, this, is, this is prophecy. I didn't even get a chance to read this article. I just have the title, man. You know, <laughs> let me get this, man. You know what? I got to read this out. I got to finish reading this. This is uh, verse 13. The second is 15 and 13. It says, they that, till the they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in the hell. Right? He said, you know, it's a drought stricken. That's a blasting. Right. In other places in the U.S. Right. Uh, before it was uh, over, over, over uh, flooding, uh, unseasonable cold and uh, 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 ice melt. Right. And with the fear for constellation, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right. Now go to this next one. Isaiah five and nine. It says in my ears, said you how a host of a truth. Many houses shall be desolate. Even great and fair without it happening. That's happening now. People are going to get start kicking out of their house. Now, they said with this whole moratorium through the, uh, uh, what do you say? Um, through the, the, God dang it. I forgot what it's called. But the whole moratorium through the health organization, what they pulled up, put up, right? They said they're only going to uh, hold that up in the places that have uh, exceedingly high numbers. So if you come in from one of those smaller towns that don't really have exceedingly high numbers, you still on the on the on the on the on the pit of of homelessness. So people are going to still get kicked out of their houses. Right. It says verse 10, verse 10. Yeah, 10 acres of a vineyard shall yield one bath and of a seed and of the seed of an homer. 
uh, shall yield an ephod. So, right, he said he, he was getting 15,000 uh, 1,500 to 3,000 bells on a 1,000-acre field. This year, he only got 53. That's that's it right there. Yeah, 10 acres of a vineyard shall yield one bath, and the seed of a homer shall yield an ephod. Woe to them that rise up early in the morning, that follow strong drink, that they may continue till night, uh, until night to wine and flame them. Right? That's it on that. So let me keep reading. It says, um, it is going to be a tough year. A lot of tough decisions are going to have to be made. He adds, he already cut his sheep uh, herd from 50, uh, 150 to 38 as everything he grows, he uses for feed uh, for his sheep, cattle, and goats across the border near uh, Wibux, uh, Montana. Sydney Misk uh, photos and videos tell much the same story. Says the says uh, she says hoppers destroyed their barley, their crop insurance uh, adjuster approved grazing portions of their barley fields, but uh, she's still worried about the damage these in insects could cause. Man, hey, the Lord is sending that plague upon America, man. Right? It's one thing. Uh, it's one thing on top of another this year. Says Max Robbins. Uh, Robinson and Bowman, a Bowman County ex extension agent who who says the grasshoppers are, are worst in the rain area near Steak Ranch, but uh, they're on the move. <laughs> they're moving east and most of the most of the guys that have have still some have some green grass or every or anything that's uh, tall enough. Uh, they're seeing a lot of, of small grasshoppers right now. I've been seeing more and more large ones from from east from east. So I think they're going to uh, they're just going to keep moving that way and take away and take out er whatever they can at Robinson. You see, this is this is prophecy, man. This is Jude. One and four. Oh, no, no, no. That's not it. Joel, Salakia. Joel, one and four. And it says, uh, I'm sorry, three. It says, yeah, the children, uh, tell ye your children of it and let your children tell their children and their ch children another generation. That which the plow worm had left had the had the locust eaten, so those worms is talking really just another uh 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 the you know the baby the baby grasshoppers the baby locust it says and that which the locusts have left had the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm had left had the caterpillar eaten. You see, the Lord is sending out famine, man. The Lord is sending out famine. He's he's starting it in America. That's this is why shit is getting intense. Ezekiel fourteen. You know, and, and this and it's perfect because, like the scriptures tell tell you. Let me get it. Uh, second is nine. And uh, nine it says, then shall they be in pitiful, pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them be away despitefully. Shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. All the people in the world have received benefits from the heavenly Father, you know. And chiefly, you Edomites have received the most fucking benefits. You've eaten and you've been fat, right? You've been proud, lifted up. You've done great wickedness in the earth, and now the Lord is getting ready to starve you motherfuckers out, man. It says, and they that loathe my law, and, and you Israelites too, man. It don't don't. Don't get it twisted. A lot of you Israelites, man, all you fucking do is eat. The scriptures tell you, just around wax, wax fat and kick. So the Lord was filling you to, feeding you to your full. And a lot of you niggas, what? You got comfortable. You got complacent. You were okay with the wickedness because you were uh, uh, able to eat. It says, and they that loathe my law 
while they had yet liberty, when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. And whose repentance opened unto the Israelites, right? You had a chance to get a, a, a chance at repentance with the Heavenly Father, have your sins forgiven. But what? You refuse. You pull away the shoulder, the scripture said. It says, understood it not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So what's happening now? What's getting prepared is death by pain for you, man. It's equal to 14 chapter. You know, family is, family is a real thing, man. And it's something that's going to be here, man. The, you know, America was fat for a long time, but hey, the lean years are here, man. It's equal 14 and 13. It says, it says, uh, start at 12. It says, the word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Came again to me, saying, Son of man, when a land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously in America, has trespassed against the Lord grievously. Niggas, you know, the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American man in America chiefly have trespassed against the Lord exceedingly. Right? You know, what was going on in, Al uh, in, 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 um, in uh, uh, Venezuela? It's going to be here in America, man. And the apostles, the elders, I've, I've said it. You know, to the spirit of the Lord, that famine is going to be here, boy. It says trespassing. It says, son of man, when the land sinned against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it and I will break the staff of bread thereof and I will send famine upon it and I will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, say Yahweh. So only the elect do their righteousness is going to deliver themselves in this time, right? You people are going to sit here and, and, and ask brothers for help because really that's what's going to happen. You know, brothers, if I uh, talk to, you know, people out there in the world, you know, family members and told them hey you got to get right man the lord is about to do some stuff and then nobody wants to listen until it's too late and a lot of you people are going to get a, a, a hey i can't fuck with you if the lord like you said in, in this in this one man let me get it it's in second kings Look, I found it. This is 2 Kings 6 and 25. It says, And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver. And the fourth part of a cab's dove's fourth part of a cab of a cat of a dove's dung for four five pieces of silver, meaning things that weren't even supposed to be food were selling for top dollar, man. This is the time that is coming in America, man. All over the world, really. It says, and as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman, uh, a woman unto him, saying, "Help, my lord, O king!" And he said, "If the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press?" You see, and this is the spirit that the Lord is going to put on brothers, man, because we've given you the warning. We wanted, we we've shown love. To where we wanted you to repent. We would have much rather you repented. Than to be in this uh, this predicament. That's about to be here. But people chose what? They chose what they loved in instead. And the Lord is going to give brothers a cold spirit man. Ain't no thing to play with bro. Second Ezra 15 and 5. Second Ezra 15. And five it says, Behold, say Yahweh, I bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the earth, and our hurtful works are fulfilled. And this that's exactly why famine is coming. Because of the amount of wickedness and evil that you people are promoting on the earth. And all that evil is coming to the time where the Lord said, You know what? I've had enough. It's time to start whooping ass. And that's the time we're coming in. It says, therefore, say, Yahweh, I, I, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, 
The innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the soul of the just complained continually. We're the, bro the brothers that are actually preaching the word of the Heavenly Father, the ones that actually believe, the ones that see a problem with the way the earth is going, are the souls of the just that complain continually, right? Because the scriptures tell you, give them no rest till we make a, a Jerusalem a praise and an earth, right? And that's what we've been doing. We've been telling the Lord over and over again, every week in, week out, daily videos now. You know, Lord, Lord, look at what's happening. You know, look at all this evilness. We've been praying to the Heavenly Father, please, Yahweh, Shai, come, come stop this shit. Please. It says, and there, it says, and therefore say, Yahweh, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent and righteous blood, blood from among them. See, the Lord is about to start avenging. This is, this is, this is, this is. It's about to get heavy, man. It's about to get heavy. Second Ezra 16. Second Ezra uh, 16 and 8. It says, uh, the mighty, it says, the mighty Yahweh sent the plagues. Who, and who is he that can drive them away? You see? There's nothing you can do. I got I gotta start up. Uh I'll start at uh I started uh three. It says a sword is sent upon you, and and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may any one quench the fire in the stubble when it when it had begun to burn? That's a big question. You know how how quick kindling uh, burns up? There ain't no stopping it once it starts going. It's it's hard to catch up to. This is why wildfires grow at such a, at an exponential rate. It says, um, verse 7, it says, May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Yahweh sent it to plagues. And who is he that can drive him away? So there's not going to be any putting this off. Nobody can, can turn away an arrow once it's shot of a strong archer. You can't turn away a lion when it's hungry and it sees the prey. You can't, you can't stop stubble for burning, man. This is it. This is it, man. This, 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 this famine, man, is, is here and it's here to stay. So, you know, keep your eyes out. You know, brothers have been doing what the Lord commanded, man. The Lord said he was going to uh, feed his elect, man. He said, my servant shall eat, but you shall hunger. Right. So just keep doing what you're doing, man. And Lord willing, this is edifying. I say, call Allah, Yahweh, Shemel, Shai, Shemel, Kankadah, Shalom.